Let's dive right in. Today, we're holding an underground hideout building competition. Ooh, sounds like fun. Mikey and I will each make our own secret hideout. Then, we'll take turns checking out each other's builds. All right, let's do this. There's just one last thing. What? You see that giant white line? Well, I'm going to build on this side of it, and you can build on the other side. Okay, sure. Our creations are meant to be secret, so... Ta-da! Whoa! This wall will stop us from trying to sneak a peek at each other's work. Great idea! All right, time to get started. So, I should probably get started with a frame. Something like... Hmm... Like this. Yeah, this is a good start. Okay, that should be big enough. Now to lay down the floor of the house. I'm gonna be using birch wood. Almost done. There. All right, it's wall building time. This is how I like to make them. That's looking pretty good. Now, over here, I think I'm gonna put one big window. Yeah, I like it. And I'll put another one over here. Next, I need a bed. I'm thinking this corner here, but the room is looking super empty. I need to add some more furniture. I'll start by putting these in the corner. And how about an anvil over here? And I'm gonna squeeze in a cauldron and fill it with water. Okay, the house is looking great. I think it's finished, which means it's time to get started on the entrance to my underground hideout. Let's do this. Everyone knows that a secret hideout needs a secret entrance. That's why I'm going to hide a lever back here. Hmm, is that good? Hmm. So what I'm thinking is, I'll place the lever here and then cover it up. It's perfect. The anvil blocks the view of the lever, but you can still reach it through this little gap. Okay, great. This is gonna be the starting point for the secret passage that leads to the hideout. Right, so I'm going to need some sticky pistons in a minute, but first I'll set up the redstone circuit. Hmm, all right, that's good. Now I'm just gonna open up this temporarily. Oh, that's what I'll do. I'll hide the secret passage underneath the crafting table. That should be deep enough. Now to lay down my sticky pistons. Yeah, that's good for the first one. Then... Hmm, okay, I'm gonna go with this kind of setup. Now I'll place this here, and I'll run the circuit back and around. Just gonna put down some birch wood. Yeah, I like the look of this. There. And done. All right, time to test it out to see if it works. Hmm, perfect. Now let's try this from the inside. So you hit the lever. And then the crafting table gets pulled under the wall, revealing the secret passage that leads to the underground hideout. This is great. But people are gonna need a way back to the surface. I'll set things up so that you can use the secret passage as an entrance and an exit. I'll start down here. Okay, so I'm going to make a wall of obsidian around this sticky piston. Just gonna fill in all the gaps. Hmm, I'm gonna make it a little deeper. All right, that's good. Hmm. Nice! That 
does the trick. Now that there's a way in and a way out, I'm gonna start working on the actual hideout. I'm thinking you come down here and then, hmm. And then right in front of you, you see a staircase that leads down to the base. How's that? Yeah, I like this. All right, enough digging. I think that's plenty deep. All this staircase needs now is some steps. These look good. Great. Now the secret hideout is gonna go right here. Hmm. I think I'll use commands to create it. Is this big enough? Well, having some extra space won't hurt. There we go. Now let's take a look at the space. Yeah, not bad, not bad. All right, that does it for the entrance. Uh, almost. It needs a proper door. Let's try this one. Yeah, that looks awesome. Now this dirt is pretty ugly to look at, so... There, I'm turning it all to stone. Oh yeah, that's much better. The only thing left to do is design the interior. This isn't a cave though, it's a secret hideout. So I gotta put in some cool stuff like a ton of books, which means I need a ton of bookshelves. This bookcase is gonna be huge. All right, now to lay out the bookshelves. It's looking really nice. There, done. Now for down here, I'm thinking I could add some enchanting tables. Oh, and some brewing stands too. Hmm, love it, very classy. I'm gonna need a place to sit. And since I'm going with a gaming chair, why not give myself a gaming laptop too? Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Now, I'll admit it's a little gloomy down here since we don't get any sunlight, but I know exactly how to breathe some life into this space. You guessed it, I'm gonna plant some trees. First I'll put down the pots, then the plants. Amazing, a bit of greenery really does brighten up the place. Let's see, what are we missing? Aha! A trap! Just in case someone tries to break in. I'm thinking a simple security system. I'll set it up in the back. Is this big enough? Hmm. Yeah, that's better. Now I want to fill in the area I just carved out with blocks of gold. Then, the trap chest goes right on top. Hmm. Needs one more row, I think. I'm gonna fill it up with diamonds. Yeah, that should be enough. I wanna make it crystal clear to intruders that there are diamonds just sitting there. But if any of them are foolish enough to open the chest, they'll be in for a nasty surprise. Let's start back here. I'm gonna set up my first security measure. Okay, this is how it's gonna work. If you open the chest, a wall of iron bars will appear, trapping you inside. That's measure number one. Looking good. There, that should do it. Measure number two, I'd rake things up for blocks of gold to turn into lava. Know what that means? My underground hideout is officially burglar proof. 
I could call it a day and go back up to the surface. But just in case worse comes to worse, there's one more thing I want to build. First, I'll put these in like this. That'll go there. I'll add another ring of obsidian. Hmm, I like this. Then I'll place a lever right in here and cover it with a pane of red glass. There! Hmm... Then, uh... Ah, I know what I want to do. I'm gonna make something truly awe-inspiring. I bet you're wondering what it could be, huh? <laughs> Need some of this. Hmm. I'm gonna hide my big surprise in the floor. It's either gonna be awesome or awful. I'll have to run some tests using a redstone lamp. I'll just lay these down. Okay, time to hit the lever. It sets off the redstone circuit and activates the redstone lamp. Except I'm going to replace the lamp with... Ta-da! Antimatter explosives! They create the most powerful explosions in the world, and I'm gonna place them right here. This is my self-destruct mechanism. I'm afraid to even place it. If it activates, this whole base will go kablooey. Just gotta be careful. One flick of the switch and all my hard work will vanish into thin air. Anyway, now that my self-destruct mechanism is installed, my underground hideout is complete! Let's go up to the surface and find out if Mikey's done building his. You finished, Mikey? Yep. In that case, I'm lowering the wall in three, two, one. Whoa! Ooh. Oh, wow! That looks amazing, JJ! Great job! I made this one, and Mikey made that one. Can we do mine first? Of course we can. Yes! You know what that means. What? I'm gonna do everything I can to break into your underground hideout. Don't forget to switch back to survival mode. Oh yeah, right. Let's go. Okay, let the games begin. Hmm? Careful, keep your guard up. Hmm, it looks like a nice normal house. Hmm, cozy, huh? So there's a painting, a bed. <gasps> Is that diamond armor for me? If you want it, what's mine is yours. You can use anything in the house. Well, thanks. I'll take it. What am I waiting for? I might as well equip it right now. Whoa! It really suits you, JJ. Now what's inside this chest? Why don't you take a look? Don't mind if I do. Oh, apples! That's nice. Yeah, I'll say. There's more stuff in here, so keep looking. Oh, really? Like, behind this painting? <laughs> Good guess, but nope. How about in the furnace? <gasps> An iron! No, a diamond sword! Amazing! Nice find! You're great at this! Hang on! You were supposed to build an underground hideout, not just an ordinary house. There should be a secret entrance somewhere around here, but where? I don't know! <laughs> hey! What are you looking at? Hmm, there's something off about that corner. And Mikey... What? You're acting shifty. I'm not acting shifty. Yes, you are. And that corner you're standing on is a trapdoor. Huh? What trapdoor? I didn't notice it at first because it blends in with the rest of the floor. But it's a trapdoor. You think? Let's find out. I knew it. Oh. Looks like it goes really deep underground, which means it's got to be the entrance to your secret hideout. Yep. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, there's water for us to land in so we don't take any fall damage. Hmm, so what do we have here? Huh, two roller coasters, huh? Yep, pick whichever you like, but choose wisely. Hmm, which one should I go with? Emerald or gold? Which one would you recommend? Uh I think you should pick gold. You might be rewarded if you do. I'm sold. Great choice, but be careful. Okay, here I go. This is kind of freaky. Look out! Hmm? Look out? No, oh, I'm falling! Ah, what's that sound? Behind you! Ah, zombies! Why are there zombies down here? Get them! 
You told me to pick gold on purpose, didn't you, Mikey? That was a trap. Maybe. Well, I have a diamond sword and a set of diamond armor, so I'm not in any real danger. Whoa, tough guy. That's right. But now you're stuck down there. Think you can get out? Wait, how do I get out? Mm -hmm. It's too high to jump back up, that's for sure. Hmm. What are you waiting around for? Get back up here. I don't see how, though. There's no ladder, stairs, or anything. Are you stuck? Hmm. Hmm? Oh, there's a gap in the wall. Ooh. It's like a hallway. Where does it lead? Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a tunnel in the wall. Great find, JJ. What's in it? <gasps> a ladder. Climb it. Could this be the way out? Let's see. Oh, it is. And this must be your base. You figured it out. The hole I fell through is your security system. Bingo. Hmm. Should have gone with the emerald. Wow, you put in a lot of flowers. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and I've noticed you've also got a computer. Yep. Can you play games on it? Only PC games, but they're so fun. I could play them all day. Is that why you brought them down here? Yep. No one will ever find out. You have a lot of chests. They're treasure chests. They're all empty. I haven't had the time to fill them up with treasure yet. I'll put some rotten flesh inside. What? I don't want that. Hmm. Whatever. Well, looks like that's all there is to see in your underground hideout. Now it's your turn to do some exploring. Are you ready to check mine out? You bet! Let's go! All right, Mikey. Time for you to try out my secret hideout. Wishing you luck, buddy! Whoa! This house is fabulous! I'm gonna go inside, if you don't mind. I went for a modern look. It's really nice on the inside, too! Thanks! Hmm? What? There's nothing in here! It's like... Practically empty. Seriously, there's no sign of a secret hideout. Did you forget to make one? No, I remembered. The entrance is in here somewhere, but it's very well hidden, so look carefully. Hmm. Is it under the bed? Nope, it's not under the bed. Is it outside? <laughs> no, Mikey. I know it's tricky, but it's inside the house, I swear. Do you want a hint? Hmm. Maybe try looking behind things. Oh, well, there's nothing behind the furnace. Or the crafting table. Or the cauldron either. Oh, wait! Hmm? There's, there's something behind the anvil. What is that? Oh, you found it. Hmm. Can I pull this lever? Sure. Here goes nothing. It definitely did something, Mikey. Can you find what changed? table. Whoa, it's a secret passage. That's right. And you can push that button if you want to come back up. Oh, that's so cool. You want to keep moving or? Yeah, let's see what's down here. Good luck, Mikey. You'll want to keep your guard up for, uh, never mind. Huh? Oh, it's a door. <laughs> yep. Hmm. Should I open it? You told me to keep my guard up, so I'm trying to be careful. I don't want to fall for your traps. <laughs> no, you don't. Well, here goes nothing. Huh? It seems safe. It's just a big, awesome room. Welcome to my underground hideout. Mm, wow. I put in a bookcase and some plants, and I can play games on my computer, too. Hmm, real nice. Thanks. Ooh. So, you like it, Mikey? Like it? I love it. Especially this fantastic little detail. You put in some treasure. Can I have it? I mean, I made it all the way down here after all. I guess, but be careful. Yeah, I'm being careful. Don't worry. Three, two, one. Open sesame! <gasps> Diamonds! Huh? Wait! What happened? Ah, no! Oh! <laughs> Oops. Lava! Sorry, Mikey. It was a trap. Opening the chest causes iron bars to appear. Hmm. 
locking you in was just the first security measure. I also programmed the blocks of gold to turn into lava a couple of seconds later. Hmm, so that's what happened. I was not expecting to get captured and dropped in a pool of lava. But it was my plan all along. So, do you still like my secret hideout? Yeah, I do! Huh? Oh, what's this? Looks interesting. Oh, there's a lever inside! Does it do something cool? I bet it does! Well, you can pull the lever if you want, Mikey. But it's really dangerous. Dangerous? Yeah. Are you just saying that? What if it makes treasure rain down? I'll take my chances. I'm gonna pull it! Uh… Three, two, one! Treasure! No, no! Where's the treasure? We have to get out of here, Mikey! Quick, run as fast as you can! Wait! What's going on? You activated the self-destruct mechanism! We have to escape! Ah! Run! Whoops! Hurry! Get back up to the surface! It's all happening so fast! I know, but keep running! Keep running! Okay! Is this far enough? What? Um… Did it not activate? Huh? <laughs> Thank you.